Welcome back guys to Beach Fit Remote. Today is Hustle and Flow. I'm with Coach Amanda. She's going to be helping me out today. Uh, today we have an EMOM, an every minute on the minute workout. It's a 21 minute workout. It has three stations. As always, when we do these workouts, think about using a running clock and starting on the first minute. So start the clock, zero, 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 let it run to minute one, and then start at minute one. It'll make it a lot easier to keep track of where you're at in the workout. So, Minute one, you're gonna have 40 seconds on that minute. You're gonna have the same thing on every single station. So it's gonna look like 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Minute one, you're gonna have 40 seconds of box jumps. So she's gonna extend up, stand, open the hips all the way, okay? This is as many reps as she can do in 40 seconds, staying under control. We would like to see you step down like she's doing here. Really no need to jump down. You're gonna do seven sets of that in total. So think about making that a rope, keeping some keeping feet against it. Your other option, if you do not have a box or a bench or a park bench or something that you can jump up to, you can do a broad jump. So she's gonna explode through the jump using her arms. She's gonna jump as far as she can with enough length for her to land smoothly. Okay, so she's gonna jump back this way. You'll see her come back in a second. There she is. Again, she's trying to jump at a distance that's, she's working hard, but she can land smoothly. She can land in control. She can keep bounding as the uh, 40 seconds go on. Okay, that's as many reps as she can in 40 seconds. She has 20 seconds of rest. Then she goes into minute two. 40 seconds of dumbbell swings. So she could use one dumbbell for this kind of blinking her fingers underneath the top of the bell. And she's gonna hinge the hips back, squeeze the glutes, driving those heels into the floor. And she's gonna swing out to about eye level. Okay, nice Russian swing with the kettle with the dumbbell. You could also use a kettlebell for this. Traditionally, it's done with a kettlebell. But if you only have dumbbells, you can do this. If you have two dumbbells and you wanna make it a little bit heavier, you can push the two dumbbells together. Same motion. Hinge back, squeeze the glutes, snap the hips forward. This is a predominantly lower body movement, so you're really trying to lose those legs and drive the belt. Minute three is your last movement, and this is a wall sit. So she's going to be in a static hole against the wall, shoulders back against the wall. She's going to squeeze her belly button in tight so you can see her lower back is pressed flat against the wall. Her legs are at 90 degrees. She's pushing through her heels, so if you feel like you're pushing through your toes, arrange your feet in a way where you feel like the pressure is through your heels. If she wants to make this also more advanced, she can take the dumbbell, hold it in like a goblet position or a front rack position. Again, this is for 40 seconds. Very nice. I know they get stuck. So, think about having a running clock that's visible through the whole workout. This needs to be something that where you have a clock to keep up with as you go through the workout. Again, this is 21 minutes. That's seven total rounds through the three stations. Get after it.